Ten years ago, the Icelandic public utility company Reykjavik Energy started a project called Carb Fix, aimed at testing how CO2, a byproduct of the geothermal steam that turns its turbines, could be captured and permanently stored underground. Basically what we're doing is just mimicking what is happening in nature and speeding it up. The Helishaidi power plant sits atop an inactive volcano that still smolders deep below, creating steam which is a free and sustainable source of energy, but also carries a number of greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide. According to the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the release of CO2 into the atmosphere is the main driver of global warming, and observations by the U.S. space agency NASA confirm this. In the Helishaidi power plant, CO2 is captured, mixed with water, and pumped back underground. The dissolved CO2 goes into the basalt, at between one to two kilometers depth, and there natural reactions occur between the basalt and the CO2 that turn the CO2 into stone within just one to two years. And once it's turned into stone, it's stable like that for, for millions of years. Scientists say if a cheaper method of capturing CO2 could be found, the ocean floor of the U.S. Pacific Northwest, India and South America could be a good place to store it. The ocean floor is basaltic, so um, if we can find the technology to to inject a mixture like this into the ocean floor, then we have uh, huge possibilities in storing carbon there. The International Energy Agency says carbon capture and storage technologies will have an expanding role in the coming decades as oil producing nations try to extract as much as possible from their slowly depleting oil fields. So far, only about 27 million tons of CO2 are captured and stored annually. As the global release of CO2 in 2014 was almost 1,000 billion tons, it is only a small fraction of what needs to be done. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.